What's up, fam? This is a this is a prototype product demo for the Michael Koi Deluxe, and I got it hooked up to the power supply there. I got it programmed for 12 volts, uh, 10 amp, just like the regular power supply. And I want to see um, how it pulls, how much it pulls. So. Uh, how am I going to do this? I don't have my foot pedal hooked up. Darn it! I need a foot pedal. I need a foot pedal. Home. The purpose of this is to see how much current is pulling the two coils. I might have to do some adjustments uh, if we do make our final product. Got my nice red pedal. Got a blue light working good. All right, here we go. Inside one coil is six amp. And if I insert it into the other coil, it's point eight amp. That's excellent. That's actually excellent. We can use one power supply and it powers both of them. And just in one, it says six point five again. Which means that by inserting it into the other coil, you get more, more space to heat. So not only am I heating the blade, I'm also heating the elbow. Uh, a lot of times bacteria sits there. So I'm pulling 8 amps, 11 volts, a little over 11 volts. It goes up and down depending on how I move. When I go to just one coil, it drops down to 6.8. When I put it in both coils, we got 7.9, almost 8 amps. That's great, so we're not overpowering anything. I still got this thing held down for a good minute now. This thing is actually red hot. That's cool. Like I said, we might make more adjustments. Uh, just checking to make sure uh, that the current is running safely and that uh, we can use this for a long period of time. So this is a good test right now, a good live test. So just for comparison, on the regular micro coil, when you insert into one Oil, it doesn't pull this much amperage. Depending on the size and, the, and the, what the steel, uh, I'm sorry, depending on the size of the metal object and depending on what alloy it's made out of, it'll pull different amperage. So, and it'll change as you pull it in. And so that's just a little quick product demo. It seems to be working good. I got to um, tweak it a little more. I had some issues soldering the coils onto the boards because I had to cut them shorter and there was no flux or anything on there so I had to make some abrasions with the Dremel tool just to get it to stick on there. So there's a couple things I got to do better. This one I'll naturally keep for myself in the lab and keep using it and testing it. And I'll build another one. Maybe a little bit better. Cleaner I mean. And then I can offer it. Michael Coil Deluxe. What do you think, fam? Do you think it's good with the space in between the coils? Or do you think they should be closer together? I kind of like the space because you could get the 
blade on one and the elbow on another. Mine's bent. It's just the way. It's just a straight tool, but then I bend it. And that's, so when I put it down, it's not touching the table. And also, I can use it kind of like a shovel. You know, and I scoop it. And because of that, if there's ever any contamination near the elbow, usually contamination will sit here. When you put your micro coil, when you put your tool inside the micro coil, sometimes it won't go all the way in. See, when I do it, I start in all the way like this, and then I slowly pull it out so it gets more of the tool. But that's the purpose of this one: is you can just do it once, stick it all the way in, and you can pull it slowly out for the like 10 or 15 seconds. And I can mess around with different um, uh, powers, power, with different voltages and amperages on this, so I can see what the what will be ideal. I'm going to dial this. We're going to make sure we use the right power supply. Uh, the wiring is pretty great. Looks clean. It's in a bigger style box. Let's see how much bigger it is. And. Uh, and uh, Pretty cool. Mr. Van Michael Coyle, USA.